Okay, so I've uh, raised that bracket by about two millimeters just by putting two washers underneath, um, I don't know if you can see there underneath that, a uh, little machine screw. I don't actually have anything under the other side of, of, of the machine screw. I've only got one thing in there, but making sure that that bracket lines up with the sensor and goes down. I don't know if you can see that either. But if you turn that way, you can see that goes just in there. Okay, and um, so we're going to go through this now, this full process. So we'll just go, you don't do a leveling first, okay? You go straight to um, settings. Um, and we're doing this uh, in case you've put a longer nozzle in um, with a hot end. This one's not, but you'll get the idea anyway, what we're doing. Uh, we've done this to get extra clearance between the nozzle and the bed. So it doesn't fail when we put in larger settings. So uh, extruder calibration is what we want. Now, once you go into extruder calibration, you do have to go through the whole process because it has just reset itself to zero. Um, and uh, that's important. So this effectively means it can come up a bit higher. Now, maybe I should have done a, this will do, this will work it out. So this, this extruder calibration changes the distance between what the machine knows as the bed height and the nozzle. Okay, so, so it's working out the distance from the nozzle to the base sensor essentially now what we've done we haven't moved the sensor the sensor is still in the same position there but by moving that um, bracket up a bit higher then it's going to effectively go down a bit lower um, and that's important if we have a longer nozzle okay but with this one you'll see it doesn't really matter too much but it just means that we can set a um, set a longer distance between it and the nozzle, okay? Okay, so now we'll adjust the position. So uh, we always go negative. And so I'll just keep clicking on that negative. I'll put the camera here so we can see. Okay, so normally you will go to about, I think it's 2.6. But with a hot end, you would have to go less than 2.6, I would suggest. And um, if you get a piece of paper, you can just see, oh, that's touching there. Okay, so, so I'll go back down again by pressing the plus button until that can go under. Okay, so that's going under now. And um, so actually, I am still at 2.6. That's good. Okay, but it will actually go lower. So let's click on OK there and finish. And so now that we've done the extruder calibration, we have to go to the level. And this is where it's going to go back down further than it used to. So, uh, so this means that um, with a longer nozzle, you won't need to, you'll have the more clearance that you need to, um, to be able to calibrate it, okay?
Okay, so we can screw these a bit tighter. I normally just go a couple of turns, but we have changed the sensor. So uh, I don't think we need to tighten it at all. Anyway, we probably have to undo this quite a bit because we just have the standard nozzle on. Okay, so that was nowhere near the switch. So yes, so that has worked successfully. We have just, by adding those three washers on, given ourselves about an extra two, maybe three millimeters in clearance. And so if extra clearance is what you need, then that is what you should be doing. And you can see by me undoing those springs so far, that's exactly what I've done. There it is. Distance is still too big. There we go. It's too done. Back one. Okay, so that's the leveling completed and uh, you'll see now that the, we've got a whole lot more space with the standard nozzle that these um, springs are up a lot higher um, just by making that small adjustment with a couple of spaces underneath the sensor right at the back there. Okay, so, um, so if you're putting a longer nozzle on for an all metal hot end, um, then uh, that's exactly what you need to do. Nice and simple. Get yourself three washers, an Allen key, and you'll be able to make that adjustment to give yourself more space for the longer nozzle. Okay, thanks for watching.